Let's have a look at the global illumination method of calculating indirect lighting in 3ds Max with Mental Ray by opening a scene called Chapter 5 Interior Global Illumination 01.max. Click on the Application button, select Open, navigate to the Chapter 5 subdirectory, and open the file Chapter 5 Interior Global Illumination 01.max. Once the file is open, Let's increment this to save it as a new version. From the Application menu, click Save As. In the dialog box, click the Increment button. This will increment it to Revision 2. Again, if it asks you to overwrite an existing file, go ahead and overwrite the file. The scene is set up with interior lighting only. We've gotten rid of all the exterior daylight and the mental ray physical sky background. This is a night scene with several photometric lights placed in the scene. The first thing we need to do is turn on our photometric lights. From the Tools menu, click on the Light Lister. In the Light Lister, click the On option for the photometric lights. Notice that they're a very low intensity light as well. These low intensity lights will not show up in our scene if we render now. We need to adjust our exposure control. Currently the exposure is set for rendering an interior daylight. We'll need to change it so that we can render an interior night scene. In the rendering menu, from the main menu bar, click the exposure control option. In the mental ray photographic exposure control rollout, let's select a preset Notice we have a current exposure value of 10. We want to choose the preset for physically based lighting indoor nighttime. That reduces our exposure value to 2, which will increase the amount of light getting to the camera at render time. Go ahead and close the Environment and Effects dialog box. Render the scene, and you'll see that without any indirect illumination pass, Final Gather is disabled, and we haven't yet rendered with global illumination the lights render with a very low intensity. There's one of two things that we can do here. We can either adjust the intensity of the light or adjust our exposure control value. However, in this case, we noticed that the lights were very low intensity. So if you still have the rendering going, let's cancel it. Click back onto the light lister and let's make some adjustments. We want to increase the number of candelas from five to 100. Since these lights are instances of each other, when we type 100 into the light lister, it will apply the value to all the lights. Go ahead and type 100 in the intensity value and press enter. This will make the light much brighter. Go ahead and click the render button in the render frame window to re-render our scene. You'll see that without any sort of light bouncing around the room, we're getting a noticeably brighter scene. So here we've increased the light intensities. Go ahead and cancel the render. We don't need to let it go any further. One thing you need to keep in mind when adjusting the brightness of your scene is when you should increase the brightness of the light and when you should increase the exposure control. If you're using photometric lights for realistic light calculation and you have the values defined according to the proper brightness of the light, then any changes to the brightness of the scene should be handled using the exposure control options. However, if your exposure control is properly set, but your lights are not a realistic brightness, meaning their brightness is either set too high or too low, then you'll need to adjust the lights. Right now in this scene, it's only lit by direct lighting coming from the lights in our scene. Press Ctrl S to save the file.